Alright guys, so uh, I'm going to be making my own culture of uh, rice flour beetles. I picked these up from Josh's Frogs and uh, I'm going to be putting together my own recipe. Um, it's not my own, I kind of picked up a little bit from other people. But I'm going to use um, whole wheat flour, some um, white rice flour, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of... Uh, coconut flour just because it says it has a lot of fiber and uh, protein in it so I'm just going to do like a teaspoon of that and then uh, serpolina powder just a teaspoon of that and I'm going to put a little bit of um, baker's yeast we'll probably do a teaspoon of that but uh, it's two cups of whole wheat flour. You don't have to go crazy. All the other stuff is pretty much extra. You just pretty much want to do the whole wheat and the white rice flour. Um, you don't have to do it perfectly. It doesn't matter if you put too much or too little. See if I can do this one handed. It's always the trick. I'm going to do two cups of this and two cups of that. It's always nice to have like other supplies of food just in case you ever run short on uh, fruit flies or anything. It's going to add different proteins to the frogs and stuff. I'm going to do one teaspoon of one teaspoon of this. Oops, I forgot to open the package, guys. Oh no. And then I'm going to do, right, do half of the other stuff. I'm a mess. Like I said, this is just extra. You don't have to do this. But I'm doing it because I have it and it just adds a little something extra to everything. Then, oh, what the hell? Let's see. I should have opened everything, made sure it was all open, but I'm uh, not that good. I just use like regular yeast. Would probably be better, but I have some that's laying on, so I'm just gonna use it. Damn. I'm just gonna mix that up. So I'm making one culture now, and then I got two more here, and uh, probably about a month, month and a half, I'll make another one, and then about six months from now, I'll probably get rid of this one and start a new one. So I'll cycle over, you know, just keep cycling over. Yeah, but, but yeah. Here's the rice flour beetles. Take a look at these suckers. Very nice. I picked up these little screens. 
from the dollar store. This all you do is how you get them out. This is how you'll do your feeding. So now I have beetles and uh, maggots. You mostly just want the the pupae there, the maggots. You'll want to get some of the beetles out. I mean, they can eat the beetles, but they're most likely not going to. They're going to love these little maggots, though. But that's about it. What I'm going to do for this new culture is I'm just going to kind of take a nice big old scoop right off the top here. I'm just going to throw that in there. Give them a little room to grow in this one. One more scoop. As long as you have like a nice container smooth sides you're not going to be able to climb up you can't climb up the smooth sides here but I've had these in a pat in the past and I kept them in the same container over a few months over six months and what the container started doing is it started like building up dust here and these, they were able to start climbing up it I used to have them in those regular like shoebox ones and they started climbing up it and getting out because they, they could grip the wall there. But that's why you gotta cycle them out every few months. So, that's that. I'm gonna put this one to the side. See how this one does. And that's about it, guys. Till next time. See you later.